Welcome to Second Car. This is the BYD Atto 3. BYD stands for Build Your Dreams. This costs £38,000 in this top trim. It's got 260 miles of range and around 200 horsepower. Now, you would have seen my videos recently about why you shouldn't buy a Tesla. I don't think they're the best cars. You see my videos on the Lucid Air and the Rivian R1T when I was in the US. And I said in my Tesla video, I think that Chinese companies doing really interesting things and creating cars that we're not seeing here in the UK. Well, this car, one of the many models of BYD and other competitors make in China has now come to Europe, is now available in the UK. So we should definitely have a look around it and see what we think, because I'm really intrigued to see, does this live up to the expectations that I think it will? Let's talk the front design here. So we've got this contrast silver bar, just like on the Lucid Air, which I like, which I think is very classy. The headlights have blue elements in them, which actually, if it was BMW and Audi Mercedes would mean they're laser lights. These aren't laser lights, but they put the blue element and EV color in there, which is a really nice attention to detail. The front is very much what you would expect. It looks a bit Tesla-ish at the bottom here, but Lucid at the top is just, it's just a very smart looking car. And the side of this car, we've got 18 inch wheels. We've got our charger port here, very nicely done. Again, contrast silver here. We've got an NFC logo on here because this car has NFC built into it. And then we've got a sort of sloping roof, but not really sloping. It's an interesting effect with some matte silver here. Very, very much, this car looks very much a bit like an Audi or Mercedes. So at the back of this car, we've got the logo, Build Your Dreams. I would probably get rid of that. This looks very much like a Mercedes design at the back, actually. We've got the same kind of light bar across the back and the same kind of bottom half. It's, like I said, very, very nice design. Very much inoffensive and very, very high quality. This is the space in the back. We've got an electric tailgate, really, really important. We've got a floor here that you can lift up and you can put more space down here for your luggage. So nice and spacious at the back here, automatic tailgate and really interesting design. And we've actually got this nice spoiler at the back here, which you kind of don't notice actually straight away. So again, nice little design touch there. Here we are in the back of the car. So again, beautiful leather seats, contrast red and white. We've got these sporty seats at the front here. It just feels very, very high quality. It says BYD design back here. We've got a USB-C and a USB-A. We've got these really funky, really, really funky door handles, which look a bit like luggage at the airport, like the wheels. You pull it and the door opens. Very cool. Love it. Really airy interior. Here in the front of the BYD Atto 3, we've got a really nice interior. We've got a big screen, just like you would get on other EVs as well which is really, really nice and has all the options you could want. Really nice interior, again, leather, really high quality feeling in here. We've got this really cool gear lever, no little nub like you get on Audis or VWs, the start stop button is in the middle here. We've got lots of cool infotainment options as well on here, including a really good 360 camera, which looks amazing. Let's check out this infotainment system. So we've got a nice big infotainment system we can go into our media here. We can choose Spotify if we want to. Navigation on the other side. So you can have it like that on both sides. We can flip the screen too. That is very, very cool. And now we've got a virtual orientation, similar to what I've seen in the Fisker Ocean. Check out my video on that at the LA Auto Show. That's pretty interesting. We can go back here to swapping between the taskbar, back to the home screen. And yeah, let's just do that again, because that's very, very cool. I love a flipping screen, that's amazing. Interior-wise here, as I mentioned, we've got this really cool, unique gear shifter here. We've got our start, start button. We've got our mode button down here, and we've got our charging button taking us to the charging settings. And then the interior, look at this door handle. It looks almost like a bit of retro steampunk. And then down here, we have these three string-like, guitar-like bits. To hold whatever's inside the door compartment in, we've got a very interesting design here. I love the contrast. Again, high quality all throughout the inside of this car. We've got our wireless charging down here too. And as I said, this looks a bit like the wheels of your luggage when you go to the airport you can move it like that you can adjust it like this really really interesting and then if we come to the wheel here and we look at the wheel again funky design flat bottom nicely stitched and this tiny way a very vws which i'm not a huge fan of and then how do you open the doors you pull on your luggage wheel and the door opens like that 
very very interesting interior and of course let's not forget this massive panoramic glass sunroof which is very cool let's go for a drive now and see what it's like so here we are in the byd atto what an interesting car to be driving it's just very very curious to be in a car which is chinese which is arguably out there really challenging the market because i'm sure byd will grow market share they will get bigger they will get more successful no i didn't ask you to do anything we've got to get into the same system too this just is really really interesting how does it drive it drives just like an ev drives comfortable easy to drive i actually really like the steering wheel it's got a flat bottom steering wheel too which i think is really funky and, and, and cool and everything on here is a bit funky and whilst there is an argument that maybe they've done that for the purposes of making it stand out you know what that's okay you can be a bit funky you can be a bit original you can be a bit different starting the process learning what works and what doesn't work just look at kia and hyundai as we turn to the left yeah there is a bit of a lean to the side but no more than you would expect any any suv that you have this model is 38,000, and what great quality do you get? You get this really nice, comfortable interior, this good ride quality, decent performance in this model. You can't fault it, you really can't. Please do check out my other videos on the channel with other EVs. Like I said, Lucid, Rivian, we've got Hyundai, we've got Genesis. And please subscribe for more on the channel, and if you have any questions about this car, let me know as well. Thank you very much.